members. You have to go. We have to go through. You have to be qualified on uh, Homeland Security M EMA. Uh, we have uh, some people uh, that's going to be required by the state to uh, take this certification. Nick, you'll be one. Frank, you'll be one. Jeannie, Ralph, and I think Kevin's already been through it. Uh, this is a requirement. The elected officials, uh, there's a number here that uh, you need to call to see when they're giving the next classes. Last time we all went as a group. I'm not sure uh, when this class is going to be held, so we need to give the numbers uh, 456 4243. This will be with James. So give these folks a call and see uh, when the next class is going to be. What's the number? 456-1243. Like I say it's a requirement of all like and I officials. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly done. Uh, mostly going through motions. They just read something or retire. I have no idea what they do. They have to see their work sweat. They are checking out. I think he's still working, but not as much. Okay, to let the council know that, uh, you know, back when the uh, uh, commissioners come to us wanted to put the aggregate on the ballot, they agreed to pay the, their portion, our portion of the, or they would agree to pay a, a reimburse a, a portion of the cost uh, for putting it on the ballot. They have done so, and we have received 236.25 from the commissioners. Uh, the total cost uh, put on the ballot was 1182.25, so we did receive their reimbursement. 5312. Also, from the commissioners, for anyone that's planning on attending the uh, CBG grant uh, meeting, I have been moved to May 23rd.
to start making some decisions. Uh, we got a, we got a notice here from Kim Keller. What does to make a decision on the uh, Washington Street project and the, uh, the uh, Main Street project? She wanted to answer from us this meeting, but it's just not going to happen. <coughs> we can't possibly make this uh, decision yet until we uh, decide whether we're going to go through with this project or not. It's kind of hard to do it at this point until we find out how we're going to generate some more revenue. At this point in time, it looks pretty scary to go forward with the project. But it's, you know, as soon as in the last meeting, if you remember, she said we had time to think about it. Can't be, you know, maybe carry it over until next year even. Uh, Ms. Keller just sent out a notice saying that uh, she would like an answer for us as soon as possible, especially on the, the Main Street property. That seems to be the biggest one in question here. That's the $41,000 uh, CDBG grant that uh, they're not requiring a, a match from us on. So, <clears throat> you know, Susan has uh, sent us a package on the Washington Street project. You know, our match on the Washington Street project is going to be $97,000. Unless we find a way to generate some income, it's going to be hard to make that match out of general fund and keep our police department intact. And uh, in my opinion, the police department is far greater of importance. Yes. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to be, there are no forces to make that decision very quick, people, so you need to be uh, keeping it back in your mind about what you think you might want to do here. So. And another letter just to give you an idea of the cuts we expect to make or what we've been expecting and trying to tell people in the village of, of the cuts of, you know, we've already took a hit on local government fund and we keep telling everybody we're going to take another hit and we're going to, and it's, they had a request from the county health department to increase the amount of withheld from your tax settlement from 115000 to 165000 the Budget Commission denied the request due to local government fund cutbacks made during the last year legislation section affecting calendar years 2012 and 2013. The loss of local government fund revenue means Preble County subdivisions will have about $460,355 less in 2012 and $1,114,502 less in 2013 general fund. So that just tells you people in 2013, you're not going to get a dime from pretty much what they're telling you. So what we've been suspected and been afraid of, cuts coming from more local government funds, looks like it's definitely going to take place. Well, we're going to have to. This is a positively going to have to be there when I do it now. Set up some sort of a plan or a proposal on getting either an income tax or some kind of a generation income generating scheme. We're going to have to start acting on it. Totally agree. Any other comments? Anything um, else, Jane? I forget. Um, just the employee insurance rental. Oh, yeah. Forgot. Uh, VPA did decide to stay with Anthem and open an HRA account, which is a health reimbursement account. Um, that's already been open and funded, and it is going to stay quite good money. And I need, with that said, I need a motion to accept the BBA's decision of the, the employee's insurance payment. So, Second. <laughs> so moved. Second. Joe? Yes. Mary Jane? Yes. Frank? Yes. And Anybody got anything else? If not, I need a motion to adjourn. Next meeting will be June 4th. So I need a move to adjourn. I second. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.